Bring the believe this. We get some old Bruins recipes that we could try later. Champagne conquers. Soak them in vinegar. Ha! That sounds brilliant, right? Aye, alright, 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 all right, all right, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> a warm welcome to you, dear friend and valued viewer. I hope you're well. Professor Caledonian here again on my continuing easy learning guide to speaking Scots. Remember that can I correct would help if I could pronounce it correctly. Remember that correct pronunciation is the key to blending in with other speaking Scots. Mispronunciation is not an option. So let us begin today's Speaking Scots lesson. This time we are looking at hygiene, cleanliness and health. Let us start as normal with some words and short phrases. Remember to click on the CC for the subtitles please. <coughs> okay, we'll start with dirty as in a person is clatty. Very dirty is mock it or manky. Horrible, dirty or smelling is minging. Smelly or dirty can also be boggin. An injured section of the body, usually a limb, is gammy. A sore part of the body is said to be gaupin. A very sore part of the body is loupin. Someone unwell, lacking natural colour or exposure to sunshine, is said to be peely wally. A day or a person that is very warm or boiling is said to be sweltering. This word is very rarely used here in Scotland, so it is unlikely you will have to use it or hear it used. <laughs> Just kidding. As usual, why don't we have a wee try a few random phrases and sentences, which include some of the words we just mentioned, plus others from earlier lessons. Okay, let's begin. See that young man over there? He is emitting a rather unpleasant odour. See him over there? He's minging. This room of yours is rather untidy. Your room is manky. That chap has a rather dirty and smelly attire on. See him as clays are bogging. I've sustained a small painful injury to my leg. I've got a gammy leg and it's gouping. You look rather unwell and pale today. You're awfully peely of Ali looking today. I hope you're still making good progress and enjoying practicing the word pronunciations and even making up your own sentences and phrases. If you're so, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, there's still so much to learn in future lessons and speaking Scots. Please join me for lesson five until we speak Scots again. How do we end? Or a best. Are we going to try that champagne vinegar, Tom? That, that sounds brilliant, doesn't it?